There you go. It wouldn't be right if I didn't have to save your ass just one. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. Up, homie. Yeah, Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. Dang what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit, it's your operation, Slick. If you all right driving, I'm going to catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Yes, I do. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. 
Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah. Bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy he made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I, I am some bitch he didn't call for 10 years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah, the Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIV. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the dead. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. Lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiend him for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol of this country. And a part of its mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in Harlem. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, the sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Oh, shit, what's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. 